Hey guys, Alex with uh, Softstore Retrofit Pros. I'm here in my building in Harbor City. I wanna to talk to you today about some of the things that could go wrong or some of the things that uh, come up when you're doing a Softstore Retrofit that are absolutely unrelated to the retrofit work but are impacted, but impact the total cost of getting the job done. So today we came across this sewer line here that's completely deteriorated. So that sewer line is going to be replaced. So we've got a, a plumbing crew coming out today to locate the sewer line and see how bad the, the damage is and see how, you know, wh where in the building we got to replace it. So that sewer line could be leaking water underneath the building and it's caused some erosion. We're not exactly sure what the cause of the erosion is, but I'm going to show you uh, what we got going on over here. So this slab here, so we cut this out, this is where the new grading is gonna be. And you notice the slab here is hollow. There's absolutely no material here. There should be dirt here. So there's something causing this dirt to be washed out. So in, in essence, this is like a little mini sinkhole. When we step on here, this whole slab moves. So this slab is gonna eventually be removed completely. So these are some of the things that have come up on this job. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, it delays stuff, it causes more expense, and uh, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Today we're gonna make uh, a few cuts on this gray beam and see how bad it is. We weren't expecting there to be a gray beam here. See this gray beam? Typically there's pads, so we're gonna cut a piece of this gray beam and see uh, how reinforced it is and what it looks like. We're gonna make an assessment on how much we're gonna remove. So we've got our preliminary cuts on the ground floor. The moment frame is gonna be here. Okay. And then that drag line, there's going to be some strong walls. There'll be some sips and strong walls right up here. These are going to be shear walls in this section here. So this is going to create lateral strength this way, and the moment frame is going to create lateral strength on, a, on the perpendicular. So that's basically the deal. And then of course, I think I've shown you this in a previous video, this is for the diaphragm framing, and then this is all the blocking that's, that has to be done above the beam. This beam here is the backing, so the, the new Simpson shear walls will be screwed into these bad boys here. See, we put in these real heavy bolts, we sister that together, and then there's a, a strap, so that's super locked in. The, the shear walls have to have a strong contact point on the top, and obviously they're gonna be embedded in the new rain beam on the bottom. So we're waiting on, uh, we're gonna get this stuff shored up, and uh, we're gonna probably, we're gonna come up with a cost for removing all of this concrete this project moving along. So far, we're on schedule. The, the big uh, delay now is that we cut this open today and we saw that this slab's in the air, so we're gonna have to deal with that. And we wanna make sure that the soil is stable when we shore things up in here, so we don't have any issues, you know, when we remove the uh, existing gradient. I look forward to updating you on our next uh, next week's update. Thanks for, for watching today. And please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the button below, subscribe, and follow us on the various channels that we're on. My name is Alex with Bay City's Construction Mining. You, you don't need a contractor. You need a team of brothers.